imagine if you really could do any learning outside of the classroom, anywhere, at any time. Wouldn't that be cool? What if we could keep our learning outdoors, here in nature? This is some farmland, but as you can see maybe in the distance, this is also people's homes. What if we can get our students to maintain their learning so that it's relationship centered and holistic, so sort of people focused, student focused, if we can keep it experiential and evolving in an authentic way, get them asking questions here in our wonderful environment. What if we can also make sure that it's authentic, interconnected and that we can think local, what's going on here in our own homes, places where some of the students' families live and work, and remember that we're all connected globally. As a scientist and as a science teacher, I know one of the biggest barriers to quality learning in science is access to science equipment. So one of the things I'd like to try is if schools could purchase and fund access to things like these digital multimeters that electricians use, they're quite cheap in New Zealand, they're only about $10. They're very robust, just about unbreakable. But the sensors you can put on here, which we've discovered through trial and error, are extremely versatile, extremely cheap. This is a heat sensor, only costing a few cents. If we can get students to have something like this as part of their stationery, they can do science learning and gathering authentic data in their space in their time, in a more authentic, holistic way of learning and observing the world, such as this dairy farm, and we have national parks bordering further up the road. So this is very good in terms of meeting some of the SDG goals, such as ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being for all ages, because if the students had this equipment at home as part of their normal school stationery, and they're encouraged to think and learn and observe at home, if they were to discover they have maybe coldish homes or they notice some um, you know, heat loss, um, they're a bit chilly in some room, they can actually gather that data and they could also experiment with different ways of preventing heat loss in the environment. Um, there's all sorts of things you can do. They could also hold local communities to account, if you like, in terms of if there are claims that uh, wastes from farms are being properly processed and if they're being discharged into the environment with no adverse effects, guess who can come along and hold the community to account with their mobile cheap sensors. They can go down test water quality. There are probes you can put in the ground test the soil quality very cheaply. We gather the data at home and we talk about it in class. And because it's come from home and it's from our community, it should stick more rather than we go to our traditional maybe a science class doing experiments with gear that we'll never see again or we'll never have access to at home so it's kind of almost tick the box science learning that's what I'd like to see differently this also increases the quality of education SDG 4 for all our learners and help them grow as to, into lifelong learners if they have access to this all the time they're thinking all the time about what else could they be looking for also to SDG 11 when we're looking at making our cities and settlements safe resilient and sustainable we can get our children to hold us to account with devices like this also in terms of the sustainability compass it covers pretty much a, a large number of the aspects to do with um, nature, to do with economics in terms of, okay, if you did want to use a material as an insulation material, how do we check that it works, but also how do we bear in mind it's got to be sustainable, we've got to be able to dispose of it in a um, recyclable and environmentally friendly way. Also looking at society and well-being, we have to work and live together. It's no good just blaming people for things that you've measured. Find solutions as well. So I would like to have students equal access to very cheap and robust science equipment as part of their stationery. That would be a way of flipping how we look at teaching science and collecting data. Collect it from the real world of students' own space and time.